Hey lovelies, today we are going to be making some homemade eggnog. So to make our eggnogs right, I'm using 8 egg yolks, right? And if you're using large eggs, you only need to use like 6 egg yolks and make your eggnog but i'm using eight medium size and i also add half a cup of granulated sugar so you want to whisk the sugar and the egg yolk together until it's perfectly combined and give you a nice smooth texture so this is how your egg yolk should be looking guys after you mix it with the granulated sugar you get that nice smooth look at that beautiful So now to our pot, we're going to add two cups of full cream milk, right guys? And then we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. So you just want to get this to eat up before adding it to the egg mixture. You don't want it to boil, you just want to eat it up a bit. And then we're going to add it to the egg mixture. So now we're going to add our milk to our egg mixture. We're not going to add all the milk at once. We're just going to add some and combine them together. Just want to add the milk and combine it with the egg mixture until we get all combined properly together. So after you combine, after you combine both of them together, guys, we're going to put it back in a pot on the stove and low flame low flame and then we're going to add some spices so we had in some cloves powder some cinnamon powder and some nut and egg powder and i'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla right Remember guys, we're going to do this on low flame because you don't want it to boil. I'm also adding a pinch of salt, not much. You don't want it to boil guys, you just want it to, to simmer and thicken up, right? As soon as you see, look at the side here, as soon as you see like it start boiling there, you just want to turn off your flame, right? Because when it cools down, it's going to be more thickened, so you don't want it to get too thick on the fire i'm also going to add some rum right as soon as i turn off the stove i'm going to add some rum this is a quarter cup of rum this is optional guys you don't have to add rum you can add any rum you prefer any rum you like but i add some white rum right and just set it aside to cool down and then serve i'm also going to strain it so i'm going to strain it in my pitcher and then set it in the refrigerator to cool down and then serve. So thanks for watching guys, this is my eggnog recipe, my homemade eggnog. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not subscribers yet and I'll see you guys in my next video.